morning students in the previous class we have studied about electricity and electric cell today we will discuss about bulb and electric circuit so very first let's see the uses of cell students as you can see here a glowing bulb now if you closely observe it then you will see a zigzag wire and this wire is called filament see this is a filament the base of the bulb has metallic tip which is connected to one of the thicker wire internally here you can see this part is the base of the bulb or we can say it is the cap of the bulb this base is internally connected with wire now you can see or you can observe bulb at your home also the metal case around the base is connected to the other thick wire now next point is the metal case and the metallic tip are two terminals of the bulb jaisa ki humne electric cell mein discuss kiya tha ki isme do terminals hote hain isi tarah se bulb mein bhi do terminals hote hain metal case and metallic tip now one more important thing which i want to share with you that is the structure of the bulb is made up of glass and inside this bulb there are two gases argon and nitrogen which does not react or we can say these are inert gases when we fit it in a socket it completely make a connection and with the help of current it is glowing or it glows now here you can see how we connect wires on both the terminals metal case and metallic tip and here in this picture you can also see the different arrangement now aap clearly observe kar sakte ho ki bulb sirf condition a and condition f mein hi glow karega kyunki in dono condition mein circuit complete hai now what is this circuit so let's discuss the electric circuit students how we get electricity we get electricity due to flow of current in wire in the same way the bulb glows only when current flow through the circuit so in short we can say current means the flow of electricity that means current can only flow when there is closed path and ye path jisme electric current flow karta hai electric circuit kehlata hai now look at this picture when you connect a bulb to a cell with a wire you create a closed path or circuit through which current can flow that means current can only flow in a closed path and this current also flow through the filament of the bulb which make the bulb to glow next the cell the bulb and the connecting wire are all part of the circuit so these are the part of the circuit students look at this picture two conditions are mentioned here one is a broken circuit and another is a closed complete circuit now if there is any break or we can say in the wire the filament of the bulb the circuit is broken then the bulb will not glow that means in this circuit the bulb will glow because it is not broken and also it is a complete circuit while the other one is having the broken circuit with the broken bulb so in this case condition 2 the condition 2 bulb will glow next electric current flow through the wires from the cell's positive terminal to the bulb and from there to the negative terminal of the cell jaisa ki aap picture se hi dekh sakte ho कि इलेक्ट्रिक करंट सेल के पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल से फ्लो करता हुआ बल्ब तक पहुंचता है और यहां से सेल के नेगेटिव टर्मिनल तक पहुंचता है सो दिस इज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द करंट इन अ सर्किट सो दिस वाज ऑल अबाउट इलेक्ट्रिक सर्किट नाउ दिस इलेक्ट्रिक सर्किट विल नॉट वर्क अंटिल वी डू नॉट ऑन द स्विच विच इज ऑल्सो द मेजर कंपोनेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक सर्किट सो इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो we will discuss about electric switch